Hi folks, Dick Coughlin here, and um, this is going to be a very quick video um, to give you a bit of warning, you know, t t terrifying news. Um, for you know, you know, if you're f feeling slightly suicidal, you might not want to watch this video because this could be the thing that finishes you off. There's no motivation for you to carry on uh, until you know any much longer than this. Um, as you may know, a little while back, I uh, you know, last month I started uploading a video which is going to be a you know a periodic video series in which I go through uh, you know Dave Rubin's uh, book, Don't Burn This Book, chapter by chapter. Uh, explaining everything that was wrong with it from a factual standpoint, a structural standpoint, and just from a general fuck you, this is bullshit, uh, this is bollocks standpoint. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I already have to make, there's already one correction I have to make um, because I start the at the start of the video, I said, you know, this will hopefully, you know, Dave Rubin's, you know, only foray into the world of. Uh, of literature and that's not the case because since that video Dave Rubin has ominously announced um, and started taking pre-orders so line up uh, for his second book no I shit you not his second book his second book which is called you ready don't burn this country Your third book is probably should be called Please Dick Coughlin, Don't Come to My House, Tie Me Up and Set Me on Fire and Stream It on Twitch because that's, if you fucking push it. Now, I'm going to just, now, I, I can't obviously critique the book, you know, it, I mean obviously it's going to be bullshit, it's going to be horseshit, but I can't critique it in any meaningful way, but what I can do is read for you uh, the I can read for you the sort of the about section so you can get an idea of uh, you know of what this um, of what don't burn this country by Dave Rubin is going to be <clears throat> you ready a guide for anyone who wants to revive the American dream while the woke mob tries to burn down the country now given that Dave Rubin you know, his last book don't burn this book you know you would think don't burn this book means burning a book but as we know as as I covered in my first one he you know according to Dave Rubin giving his book a one star rating on Amazon or critiquing it negatively in any way is the same thing as burning so given that is I don't know what burning a country means it's also interesting that you know that book came out a year ago the first book and and so presumably he you know presumably you know and he went on pre but so presumably he started writing this book immediately after he'd finished the first one you know that's a, you know i mean he couldn't have started writing but so it's kind of interesting that he is a sh considering his first one his first book don't burn this book was was supposed to be a it was supposed to be a guide a a a, a road map for you to come out of you know your you know your closet and become you know and free yourself and become part a free thinker and free yourself from the tyranny of you know of not hating not hating black people i don't know but so he presumably already, you know, he would have had to start writing this one before the other one had even been sold and to see whether, because if his first book had been a huge success in terms of its mission statement, then this wouldn't be necessary. So he knew, he knows already, while the woke mob tries to burn down the country. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to see that something dark is happening in America. No, you don't, but it helps. It holds the mail. Just look around. What, at your, for, in, in your two million dollar mansion, Dave? Just look around. The only dark thing in your two million dollar mansion is your husband. Massive corporations monitor our every move. And that's got what to do with the woke mob? What's that got to do with the woke mob? 
The Thought Police stand ready to cancel anyone who dare think for themselves. So that's Thought Police. That's a, a nebulous concept that doesn't actually exist. Standing ready to cancel, you know, which is, you know, a meaningless sentiment, a, you know, a hysterical sentiment. Anyone who dares think for themselves. Whatever. Okay. Brainwashed activists openly attack the American experiment. What do you mean the American experiment? What's that? What's the American experiment? Has the Amer have, have we not? Are you not established yet? Isn't America not established itself as pretty much this is? What do you mean the American experiment? Is that even a thing? But then he says this. Now this is the one sentence. If you, you know, all, all everything else aside, all the rhetoric and hyperbole aside, right? You want to quibble with that, right? Don't, don't you know? This sentence here says everything you need to know about the about Dave Rubin's mindset and mission statement here, right? The dystopian future we've been warned of is here. It's here. The dystopian future. We've been warned of what you mean, like the ones in all those movies, like in Blade Runner and Terminator and Demolition Man and fucking, you know, and, and Robocop. That's where we are. We are in the dystopian. The, this is the dystopian future, Dave. It doesn't seem to be radically different from what it was a couple of years ago when you did your first book. At what point did the dystopian future pretty much kick in? This is it, is it? It seems, you know, it's not perfect, obviously. It's got its problems, I would admit, but it doesn't seem that... It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. But that's where he is. That's the mindset Dave has got, is trying to get you in. That this is it. This is the... What is the difference between this and someone who's preaching the end times? Dave Rubin has been on the front lines of the culture wars for you've been on the front line of did you've been on the front line of my dick. Right. Now he he now he offers tactics. Ah, oh, the last time it was a roadmap. But now he offers tactics you can use to protect yourself from today's authoritarian rule. Yes, because that's what we got in the dystopian those films about dystopian futures. Is dribbly little twats like him writing books and releasing them, giving us tactics to avoid author? What planet does you live on? From revis resisting the grip of big tech, resisting the grip of big tech. This is from a guy. This is from a guy whose entire career exists. Because of big, without big tech, Dave, you are nothing. You, in any reason, in any way that is significant, do not exist. From stay, from resisting the grip of big tech to staying sane in a post-truth world. Oh, he's going to teach you how to stay sane. What's more, don't see a therapist or go you know, get psychiatric. No. Read this book to stay sane. What's more, he offers a vision for the next generation of patriots who will need to face the future head on. That's all. It's the only way you can face the future, Dave. It's impossible to do otherwise. Holding fast to their values and creating a meaningful life, no matter how frenzied and fabricated the news of the day is. In order for free-thinking people to thrive in this era of woke lunacy, we need to step up and create freedom for ourselves while exposing progressive lives. Create freedom for ourselves. Because that's, again, that's possible in a genuinely dystopian, authoritarian fucking you know, country, isn't it? For you to create freedom for yourself while exposing progressive lies and offering practical advice that you can employ right now. Yes, practical advice. That's what defeated Skynet, wasn't it? This book is a call for Americans to live the freest life possible. And a roadmap. Another roadmap for saving the greatest country in the history of the world. Right, well, that bullshit aside. 
And here's the thing. This book doesn't go on sale until April the 22nd next year. Now, call me old-fashioned, right? That's about eight, eight or nine months from now. Call me old-fashioned. But maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing the label here, right? But if this was genuinely, if you were living in the dystopian future now, to the point where your sanity is, you're starting to, you know, you're starting to lose your sanity. Do you, is really another eight, wouldn't you want this fucking shit out there now? Is it worth the risk waiting another eight months? Of course it is. Do you know why? Because this is bollocks. For fuck's sake, people, stop buying this crap. Jesus Christ, I look forward to having to fucking do this crap again. I'm Dick Coughlin. See you later.